Follow the trend, tend to benefit while avoiding harm. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. D. Today, I want to share with you the structure of modern Yijing. Before introducing this, you must know the origin of the Yijing. The widely accepted theory about the origin of the Yijing is that the discoverer of the Yijing was Fuxi. There are many versions of the legend of Fuxi. Some say that he is the god of world's creation. Some say that he is just the ancestor of the Chinese people. Either way, there is no dispute that Fuxi is the discoverer of the Eight Trigrams. How did Fuxi discover the Eight Trigrams? It is said that one day, when Fuxi was walking along the Yellow River, he suddenly noticed a dragon horse emerging from the Yellow River. The dragon horse carried a pattern on its body. Fuxi wrote down the pattern, and this pattern was called He Tu. One day, when Fuxi was walking by the water of Luo, he suddenly saw a white turtle with a pattern on its body. Fuxi also wrote down this pattern, and this pattern was called Luo Shu. Fuxi discovered the eight trigrams from two patterns of He Tu and Luo Shu. In Fuxi's time, there was no Yi Jing but only eight trigrams, and it were the basis of the whole Yi Jing. So I think this legend can be regarded as the origin of the Yi Jing. After Fuxi discovered the eight trigrams, people wrote different versions of Yi Jing based on it. Their names are Lian Shan, Gui Zang, and Zhou Yi. All Yi Jing mentioned in our modern society are the version of Zhou Yi. Why do we call this version of Yi Jing Zhou Yi? From 1075 BC to 1046 BC, at the end of the Shang destiny in ancient China, the last emperor of the Shang destiny, Di Xin, ruled the whole country. Because he had heard slanders and feared that his vassal, Ji Li, would overthrow him, he found an excuse to kill Ji Li and put Ji Li's son, Ji Chang, into prison. While Ji Chang was in prison, he had nothing to do. He created the exterior eight trigrams by modifying the eight trigrams and combined the eight trigrams in pairs to create the 64 hexagrams. He also wrote the judgment for each of the 64 hexagrams to explain the trend and meaning of each hexagram. Let's take Song hexagram as an example. The judgment of Song hexagram are Song, Yu Fu Zhi Ti, Zhong Ji, Zhong Xiong, Li Jian Da Ren, Bu Li She Da Chuan. Song, the name of the hexagram, Song hexagram. Song means a dispute, a lawsuit, a conflict. Yu Fu, Yu means high, possess. Fu means honest. Yu Fu could be interpreted as be honest, or maybe someone has evidence and what he said has a basis. Someone is not lying. Zhi Ti, Zhi means blocking. It describes someone's heart is very worried, like a traffic jam. T means vigilant. Zhi Ti means that someone is worried and very vigilant. Zhong Ji, Zhong means the middle, neither light nor heavy. Ji means good luck, good consequences. Zhong Ji can be understood that if things developed to an intermediate stage and end, then things will have good results. Or you don't try to do too hard and don't be too lazy, 
to do something. Just keep a calm mind and let things go their way. Then things will have good results. Zhong Xiong, Zhong means in the end. Xiong means bad luck. Ill omen. Zhong Xiong can be understood that if things go to the end, there will be a bad result. Li Jian Da Ren. Li Jian means it is to your advantage to visit someone. Da Ren means two things. One is someone who is more powerful and richer than you, and the other is someone with a noble morality. You can understand the meaning of this sentence as it is to your advantage to meet a morally noble person who is more powerful and wealthy than you. 不吝啬打穿 The literal meaning of this sentence is that at this point in time. You are not suitable to go out and cross the mountains and rivers. What it implies is that you are not suitable for taking risks, and you should proceed with caution. The ancient Chinese didn't have trains or planes or expressway, and it was very dangerous for them to travel far from home. I didn't tell you directly what this sentence means. Because of the difference between modern Chinese grammar and ancient Chinese grammar, modern people have many different ways of understanding ancient articles. My purpose is to let you find the answer by yourself. What the ancients want to express. This is also the purpose of my series of videos, so that people with different cultures and thinking modes all over the world. Can experience and study eating together. After all, there is no unified answer regarding the translation of eating. After Ji Chang's death, his son Ji Fa inherited his power. Ji Fa united the vassals from all over the country to overthrow the rule of the Shang Dynasty and establish the Zhou Dynasty. After Ji Fa's death. Ji Fa's son was too young, so Ji Fa's younger brother Ji Dan inherited the throne. After Ji Dan succeeded to the throne, he studied the Yi Jing left by his father. Through his understanding of the world and the laws of nature and the relationship of Yin and Yang, he wrote many paragraphs to explain the hints for every line in each of the 64 hexagrams. In Yi Jing, for example, the paragraph of the second line from the bottom to the top of Song hexagram is, 不克送，归而不起义，人三百户，无省。不克送，不 means not, no, negative. 克 means restriction. 送 means a dispute, a lawsuit. A conflict. The meaning of these three words together, you can understand it as the result of your lawsuit or argument with others that you lose. 归而不起义，归 means return, 而 means end, 不 means elude, 起义 means his village. You can understand this sentence as. Someone fleeing home and avoiding disaster. 人三百户，人 means people. 三百户 means three hundred families. In ancient China, villages with only three hundred families were small villages. If you are a politician, this sentence implies that your status is not high, but you still have a little power compared with ordinary people. If you are just an ordinary people, this sentence implies that your family is not rich, but it is better than most ordinary people. 无省，无 means you don't have something. 省 means man-made misfortunes. It's not that someone is unlucky, but someone is asking for trouble. Connecting all these words. We can understand this sentence in this way: Someone loses the lawsuit 
So someone fled home and hid in his own village. Although the population of that village is only 300 families, it is enough to provide protection for someone from disasters caused by itself. Of course, this sentence also has other different interpretations, but today's focus is not on this hexagram. When I introduce this hexagram, I will explain it in more detail. Because the paragraphs of this version of Yi Jing was written by people in the Zhou destiny, so we call it Zhou Yi. Ten wings are ten books. To facilitate people's understanding of Yi Jing, Confucius or Confucius and his disciples wrote these ten books explaining Yi Jing. The reason why these ten books are likened to ten means is that Yi Jing has been spreading rapidly since these ten books explain it. As for the ten books written by Confucius or Confucius and his disciples or just by Confucius' disciples, there is no evidence has been found to support any of these views. The names of these ten books are The Commentary on the Judgment, Volume 1 The Commentary on the Judgment, Volume 2 The Overall Image The Little Images the Commentary on the Appended Phrases, Volume 1 The Commentary on the Appended Phrases, Volume 2 The Commentary on the Words The Sequence of the Hexagrams The Explanation of the Trigrams The Assorted Meanings of Hexagrams Next, I will give a general introduction to the contents of these 10 books. To be honest, if you want a thorough understanding of the Yi Jing, please don't be too superstitious about the contents of these 10 books, because the interpretation of the Yi Jing in these 10 books is mixed with the moral concepts of the ancient Chinese at that time. Some of the moral concepts of the ancient Chinese are wrong in the modern view, so when reading these 10 books, Please pay attention to the laws and facts he introduced about the universe or things. Of course, what he said is not necessarily correct for the moral concepts he conveyed. Accept him if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to force yourself to accept it. The paragraphs in the Commentary on the Judgment, Volume 1, and the Commentary on the Judgment, Volume 2 are the interpretation of the judgment in each of the 64 hexagrams. What is the purpose of Confucius writing this book? To put it simpler, the judgment is talking about overall trend and meaning of a certain hexagram, and the commentary on the judgment is trying to explain to people why this hexagram has such a trend and meaning. Let's take Song hexagram as an example. I have explained the judgment of Song hexagram just now. Let's look at it's the commentary on the judgment now. It is Song Shang Gang Xia Xian Xian Er Jian Song Song Yu Fu Zhi Ti Zhong Ji Gang Lai Er De Zhong Ye Zhong Xiong Song Bu Ke Cheng Ye Li Jian Da Ren Shang Zhong Zheng Ye Bu Li She Da Chuan Ru Yu Yuan Ye Song means Song hexagram. Shang Gang Xia Xia means the upper trigram represents strong and forward. The lower trigram represents danger. The eight trigrams are combined in pairs to form 64 hexagrams. So each hexagram has two parts, the upper trigram and the lower trigram. Xian Er Jian Song Xian Er Jian means someone knows that such behavior will cause danger, but he still wants to do it. Song means a lawsuit or a contradiction. The combined meaning of these two sentences 
is that someone knows that this behavior will lead to danger and conflict, and he will still do this behavior. Then it will lead him into danger and conflict in the end. Song 有福之替 I explained this sentence earlier. Although someone is honest and has evidence of what he said, he is still very worried and vigilant in his heart. 终极 I explained this sentence earlier too. It will be of benefit to someone if something ends in the middle stage. 刚来而得终也 This sentence is to explain why someone's affairs would be of benefit to him by ending in the intermediate stage. If the line in the middle of the lower trigram of each hexagram is a yang line, the line generally carries the meaning of luck. So Confucius thought that the things that Song hexagram said would end up with a good result in the middle stage, because of that reason. 利见大人，上中正也。利见大人 ，I explained this sentence earlier. It is to your advantage to meet a morally noble person who is more powerful and wealthy than you. 上中正也 This sentence is the explanation. Because this powerful person is of morally noble, he will not be bought. So if you are honest, you will win this lawsuit or conflict. 不吝啬大川，入于渊也。不吝啬大川。I explained this sentence earlier. It implies is that you are not suitable for taking risks, and you should proceed with caution. 入于渊也 This sentence is the explanation of 不吝啬大川 The lower trigram of Song hexagram, which is the water trigram, usually represents traps and dangers. If you take risks, you will fall into this trap. Comparing the paragraphs of the judgment and the commentary on the judgment of the hexagram, you will find that the commentary on the judgment are the interpretation of the judgment. Is this explanation necessarily correct? I don't think so. I just take it as a reference. You should also try to find your own answers. The paragraphs of the commentary on the judgment, Volume One. Records the commentary on the judgment of the first thirty hexagrams, and the paragraphs of the commentary on the judgment, Volume Two, records the commentary on the judgment of the rest hexagrams. The overall images are to explain why each hexagram has its trend and meaning through the images of each hexagram. What are the images of each hexagram? In each hexagram. Except for the paragraphs, the other parts are the images of each hexagram: the upper trigram, the lower trigram, inlines, yang lines. They are all images of this hexagram. The overall image is Confucius' understanding of the various images in each of the hexagrams, explaining why each of the hexagrams has such a trend and meaning. And then Confucius uses his summary of the meaning of each hexagram to teach people how to be a good person, how we should regulate our behavior and thoughts in life and work. I must make up one more sentence. You can accept or not accept these personal views of Confucius. Let's use Song hexagram as an example. The image of Song hexagram is 天与水为行。宋，君子以做事谋始。天与水为行。天 means heaven， 与 means and， 水 means water。为行 means to completely opposite actions。This sentence means that the sky and the water move in completely opposite directions。The upper trigram of Song hexagram is the heaven trigram. This trigram has the meaning of heaven, because the three lines that make up this trigram are all yang lines. So it is the purest and highest yang energy in the eight trigrams. 
the trend of Yang's movement is upward. The lower trigram of Song Hak's gram is the water trigram. This trigram has the meaning of water. The trend of the water hexagram's movement is downward. The energy of the upper trigram and the lower trigram of Song hexagram are going in opposite directions. This is what Confucius wanted to say. Song means contradiction. This word is talking about the result. When two opposing thoughts collide, it will lead to contradictions. A gentleman must plan before he does something. This sentence is easy to understand and there is no dispute about its meaning. Tian Yu Shui Wei Xing, Song, Jun Zi Yi Zuo Shi Mou Shi. The whole meaning of this sentence is that you must plan before you do something. If you find that something is very unfavorable to you at the beginning, then do not do it and the disaster will not happen to you. Even if you must do this, you must think about various solutions to positive problems. This is my understanding of Confucius' words. What is your understanding? Do not be superstitious about Confucius, or me, or any human being. The little images explains why each line has different meanings based on the position of each line in each hexagram and the line's difference between yin and yang. This is to say, each line in the 64 hexagrams has a paragraph of the little images. For example, the little image of the second line of Song hexagram from bottom to top is 不可送, 归不窜也, 自下送上, Song. As said before, you can understand it as the result of your lawsuit or argument with others that you lose. 归不窜也 Guibu, as said before, these two words mean that someone returns to their hometown. 窜 means run away. It is a description of the state of this person returning to his hometown. This word shows that this person was forced to return to his hometown, and the state of returning to his hometown is also very embarrassed. Ye is a meaningless modifier. This whole sentence means that someone fled home embarrassedly. 自下送上 The meaning of this sentence is that in an organization, a low-status person takes the initiative to conflict with a high-status person. Where did Confucius see that this line represents that people with low status deliberately conflict with people with high status? As I said earlier, a hexagram consists of an upper trigram and a lower trigram, and they are all composed of three lines. If we regard these two trigrams as two independent individuals, then the three lines that make up them have three positions. The first, second, and third of the upper trigram. The first, second, and the third of the lower trigram. Because these two positions are both second, and both of these two trigrams are within one hexagram, so there is a corresponding relationship between these two positions. If the lines in these two positions, one is a yin line and the other is a yang line, this situation generally means that things will have a good result. If the lines in these two positions are both yang line, this situation generally means that things will have bad results. Why? You can imagine Two bad-tempered people who refuse to give up to each other, what will the result be? I think you must have such a colleague by your side once time. He or she has never flattered his or her leader. He or she works hard and is upright. In the end, 
He or she was kicked out of the company after a conflict with his or her leader. 患智多也。患 means something bad for someone. 智 means lead to. 多 means bring. 也 is a meaningless modifier. This sentence means that someone failed in a conflict or lawsuit with others. This failure is someone who asked for it. Why did Confucius say that someone asked for this failure? Because someone knows that the other part is stronger than him. He still takes the initiative to provoke a conflict with the other part. The commentary on the appended phrases, Volume One, and the commentary on the appended phrases, Volume Two. Records how the whole universe was born based on the principles of the I Ching, the relationship and the difference between Yin and Yang. What is the origin of the universe? The commentary on the words records the meaning of Qian hexagram, which is the creative, and Kun hexagram, which is the receptive. Because the creative is the purest hexagram with yang energy, and the receptive is the purest hexagram with yin energy, these two hexagrams can be regarded as yin and yang. In the world view of I Ching, yin and yang are the origins of creation in this universe. So the ancients wrote this book specifically to explain these two hexagrams. The sequence of the hexagrams records the order of the 64 hexagrams and the reason why the 64 hexagrams are sorted in this way. The explanation of the eight trigrams records the meaning of the eight trigrams and some of the things they represent. The assorted meanings of hexagrams is a very brief essay. It mainly explains the general idea of those hexagrams, because this explanation is rather messy, so it is called assorted. These are the ten books written by Confucius or Confucius disciples. These books on the interpretation of I Ching are of great reference value. After all. Confucius lived in a time closer to the time when I Ching was discovered. I have to emphasize at the end: don't be superstitious about Confucius. Don't be superstitious about human beings. Focus on the rules and facts expressed in these ten books, and don't pay too much attention to the moral concepts conveyed by these books. What is the truth of the world? Please find your own answer. Subscribe, be your own prophet.